Why just trick-or-treat on Halloween when you can get candy throughout the month of October? The South Waco Community Center and City of Waco Athletics staff kicked off the city's series of trunk or treat and fall events at the former Hart Patterson Track and Field Complex. It was a spooky and fun time with hundreds of kids of all ages dressed up in their creative costumes. A huge thanks to all the community groups, city departments, and businesses that gave their time to help make the event a success. If you missed out, or if you're ready for round two, the City of Waco has even more spooky and family-friendly fun scheduled throughout October. For a full list of City of Waco fall-themed events, visit waco-texas.com fall. On Thursday, October 19th, the City of Waco and Keep Waco Beautiful celebrated the grand opening of Bledsoe Miller Children's Learning Garden. The Learning Garden at Bledsoe Miller Park is a space for families to see, smell, and learn about the importance of drought-tolerant native and pollinator plants. The project was made possible through a grant from Keep Texas Beautiful at HEB. This is what we're here to do. We're here to make Waco better in every way possible, and that includes expanding and encouraging nature and expanding and encouraging other people's opportunity to participate in it. We hope to see you and your kids at the Learning Garden for a fun sensory experience. On Friday, October 20th, Midway ISD and our contracting partner, Big Creek Construction, joined City of Waco officials at City Hall to celebrate the reopening of Mars Drive and Old Hewitt Road. After 18 months of construction, the major thoroughfares are open to traffic featuring new concrete pavement, drainage, and water line infrastructure. The $8.5 million project is expected to last up to 50 years thanks to the choice of using concrete instead of asphalt. Thank you for your patience during our work to provide Waco and Hewitt residents with a much improved driving experience. <laughs> 